Okay, so it getting a little heated. Um, Tamara, oh, what is it that you need Claire to understand about you? I need her to understand that I don't have as much money as she thinks I do. Oh, right on, mate. She's the one with the private plane. Who told you about that? Lester, my you, husband. You used it to fly me out to Australia. So, you know, I, I did have to mention that when I was talking about how we got, we, you know, how we got married, how we got to Australia. So you got wife protocols going two ways now, huh? Hmm. Well, I yeah. Know. I mean, when there's two wives, there's two wife protocols. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's one. boundaries, right? Um, but Tamara, can we phrase it so when you when you accusing me of being rich, I feel well when, when she's accusing me of being rich, she's hoping that I'll die so they mm -hmm. can inherit my money. Yeah. Okay, sorry, that wasn't what you asked. No, I, it when sounds you, like it doesn't feel good. No, when she wishes me dead, I feel terrible. Oh, boo-hoo. Man, I feel bad. She wishes I, I was see, dead. I just want them both to get along a little bit. You know, I, I don't think that there's this such a, such a such a contentious thing. We just, in a throuple, we got two wives. You know, you both wanted to marry me knowing... Well, I mean, Tamara, you knew about Claire. Claire, Claire was before Tamara, so yeah. Right. But so it means I got dibs. Hmm. Means so I get the first third round, right? Yeah. And and you do, and you do every night. You get the first go round. We that's that's only fair. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And I, I get, get the second. Yeah, you get the sloppy seconds, eh? Yeah. Sloppy Joe for you. Hey. You calling our husband a sloppy Joe? No, no, no. No, just by the time you get him. Uh, okay. I get well, the first. I've seen. You know, Lester Sorry, Dr. Meredith, is the same quality all the time. Um, no, you're okay. Um, Lester is the same quality all the time. I do have to say, if this was an FFM versus an FMF, uh, I'm just in my experience, those tend to work better. That's FMF. a little bit. That's where the girls touch. Right. I've been suggesting that. Well, I'm not against it. It's just, you know, I entered this marriage more of it as an experiment than out of love or sexual attraction. But listen, no offense, honey. But no, you'll you listen me. back. I just wanted, thought it would be interesting. Hmm. And here we oh, are. Yeah. I, I like it here. I don't want to leave. I mean, we're married and all in Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, if it's for an experiment... I'll try anything once. So um, I'll let you put your hands on me one time, all right? We'll see how that goes, eh? Okay. Well, but just see, okay? You know, maybe you and I, if we had met Lester aside, maybe we would have been friends. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, look, hey, all right. I'm not going to shut you down straight off. Could be true. We've obviously got some things in common. Right. Old yeah. LP over there being numero uno. <laughs> you always what? leave your phone charged. I do. I like that about you. Cool. I'm How good. Does it feel I'm good. Talk to each other. Wait, what was that? Lester, how do you feel seeing them interact with each other like this? I mean, this is what I've been wanting because you know it's very hard to live in a bunker with two two women who are at each other's throats, and I mm -hmm. I just I just want the two of them to get along, you know, and I and I want to be able to say to both my wives, I love you in front of the other, you know, and I don't think that's so much to ask. Now, what happens when you say I love you in front of the other one, typically? Well, uh, when I say I love you to Tamara in front of Claire, Claire often will come, whatever whatever pruning she is she's using to at the time to trim a plant, often get towards me and Tamara, which I have to diffuse the situation a little bit physically, and I don't like doing that. Uh, just well, I, <clears throat> I'm trying to be civilized. I put my hand up. Uh -huh. approval to speak please please, please. um 
depends what time of the month it is, really. you got to pick your times there, Lester. That's true, you yes. Know? The first like, week of the month is when uh, is when Claire is uh, doing her most pruning, and the last week of the month is when she's doing her hardest pruning, which means she has bigger shears. So if, I do, if it happens early in the month, it's not a big deal. But if it happens late in the month, it's very, very dangerous with the big pruning shears. Claire, I didn't even know you pruned. Yeah, well, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Do you do you partake in a in a little pruning yourself there? Tam? Oh, yeah. Can I call I, you Tam? I on? buy a jalapeno plant every spring. Mm. Mm. I love me some jalapenos. Right. Yeah. See, and and so that's that's good, uh, you know. But then, if if I, uh, you know, if I do say to to Claire that I love her in front of Tamra, very often I find out the next day that none of my phones are charged. Oh well, you know, you didn't check them before bed, honey. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I, I yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ease up on the old gaslighting there, Lester. She's maybe she did charge him. Maybe it's the, maybe that's uh, on you. Huh? Did you plug him no. in? Do we always have to remember to charge your phones for you? No, I of mean, course not. It's just that I I plug them in and then Tamra, I think, you know, I don't want to be accusatory. This is a session where we're trying to figure out how we're feeling good, you know. So I don't want to accuse anybody, but I do think that Tamra goes ahead and unplugs my phone. I'm feeling accused, Dr. Meredith. I'm feeling very accused. Okay. Well, we don't we don't want anyone to feel attacked in this space, right? This is safe. We're able to express ourselves. I did. Is that a Chinese money plant? Oh, mate, I don't know what this is, but it's green and it's in a white pot, and it makes me feel good. And I thought because we're doing therapy, I thought that you had to have a plant in the room because I've always okay. seen that in the movies. No, you um, absolutely do. Would you like to meet my plant? Yes, please. Yes. This is my okay. piece Absolutely, offering. Dr. I'm, try I'm trying to behave, I'm, guys. I'm so sorry. It's just I'm always happy to show my babies. So <laughs> we have these little guys right here, okay? So oh, this yeah. one, he's, uh, he's a zebra plant, okay? Ah. These are good tropicals. Um, oh, he's kind of like a green plant with a little white stripe. I would think a zebra plant would be a, a white plant with the black stripes. Well, a, a white plant is not able to photosynthesize, Lester, and so oh. <laughs> it needs the chlorophyll in order to do its its little job. Um, but that's a you're great a good plant. therapist. See, you're this is why you're a doctor. You know the stuff yeah. about science and stuff. I'm actually an MFT, so I am not a doctor. <laughs> I'm a marriage and family therapist. Okay, is that? Male to female to transgender, is that the order? Just for going by the letters that we were talking about before, just mm -hmm. as an educated guess over here. Do you do you like to use humor to deflect from things that feel uncomfortable? What? Oh, burn. <laughs> she got you. What? She I got you, baby. I'm just wondering. About. No, what do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm very okay. happy. I have a plant. Okay, so we're going to talk a little bit about attachment, okay? So the ways that we were attached to our caregivers can affect the ways that we interact with others throughout our lives, right? And so oh there's my different, God. There's different types. You can be anxious. You can be avoidant. You can be healthily attached, which I'm hoping mm -hmm. is what we find out. Um, or you yeah, can be sure I'm healthily attached. Yeah. Let, let's go with that one. Yeah, so let's let's talk about your relationships with your primary caregiver growing up. What was that like? Well, what you just said makes total sense for me. My primary caregiver and I were in an experiment together. <laughs> and it was like it was kind of like a, you know, if you treat one twin one way and another twin the other way, what how will they turn out? Okay. And which twin were you? I was the one who was treated. Well, you know, I never saw how the other twin was treated. Right. right. So I don't know, but I assume I was treated poorly, but yeah, I've never met my twin. Okay. Wow. We don't know anything about them. What? Say that again. We don't know anything about them. It sounds like there's something missing. I mean, are you long for that connection? Well, you know, my mother was, you know, she just told me that she only spent time with me because of the experiment and that if, if, if there was no experiment, then... I would be alone. Okay. Oh, yeah. Tamara, I'm oh. so sorry to hear that. 
Oh, don't cry. Oh, no. Oh, oh baby. Oh, no. Don't Wait, cry. He, he just called me baby, and that is what he calls Claire. Oh, what? You want me to have a different pet no. name for each of you? I, I only know one. When I was growing up, my, my, my mommy and daddy only called each other and me baby, so that's the one I know. Just pronounce it differently and then call me baby. Well, you can call me babe and then call me baby. baby. Okay, Claire's babe, Tamara's baby. We we solving the problems. Hey. How do you feel about that one? Yeah. Right? Let's, let's just throw out a few ideas for a pet. Nothing you can say is wrong, okay? Okay. Nothing you mm -hmm. can say is wrong, and then we'll evaluate them after. Okay, Lester? So just give me a couple ideas. They okay. can be household items. They can be foods. They can be dogs. Just anything okay. that maybe you could call. For 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 whom? Just net pet names in general, or? Well, it sounds like Tamara wants to change her pet name, right? Yeah, I yeah. I, I don't okay. love baby. Maybe Claire can keep baby, and you can call me Tulip. Tulip. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Or uh, okay, Tulip is what you want, so that's what I should do. But I also want to suggest maybe like rosebud or like a big flower or like poppy sea muffin. Or how about jalapeno plant? Ooh. Oh, I like that. I want that too, though. I'll, I oh, I like jalapeno plant. Oh. Okay. I well, like, okay. I started the plants. I think I should get the jalapeno plant because I'm hot stuff, baby. I don't know. No, you keep you keep baby. You can keep baby. I'll I'll surrender. I'll surrender. So baby. now I'm baby and she's jalapeno plant. Yeah, well Which is the opposite of what you wanted. Oh no, that's not gonna work. We okay, let's how about this? In a good negotiation, plant. everyone feels like they've lost. And I think that that's what we're achieving now. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well, I, I think that. the problem is, Doctor, is that I'm treating my relationship with whatever why didn't we hire a doctor i'm sorry Side note. That. that's my mistake they're very expensive uh, that, wow she's very we highly related. Related. i have a sliding scale you guys specifically requested that okay fine right who's paying for this Les, please yeah. tell me you're from the bill you're the one that married two ladies so I think yeah no this is this is coming from the money that i get from my ex-wife oh good oh, right. well, there we go good. great yeah. we'll take that Something else I think we have in common there, Tam. I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Very happy oh. that the ex-wife pays for that for us to sort out our potential issues with Lester. I completely you agree? agree. Great. See there, Doctor. We're we're doing pretty well. We're getting along very well. Oh. MFT. <laughs> Do, MF, doctor, same same shit, isn't it? Really? I, I no? think. Yeah. So. Yes. But yes. no. <laughs> no. Right. Well, see, okay. I can understand why Claire is upset because she entered into her marriage with Lester to help him get a green. Well, I guess it's not a green card. I don't know, mm -hmm. so that he can leave America legally. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. entered into this relationship as an experiment, but Claire didn't agree for me to enter. She did not consent to that. Now, That's Tamara, do, do you call it an experiment because you feel like the only way you can be loved is under the guise of a clinical trial? Oh, well, when you put it like that, then perhaps. Have you ever had a relationship that wasn't a, an experiment? Yes. I met a man on a train last year. Mm. We had a whirlwind romance. And we charged phones in Austin together for a week. And then he disappeared and I never heard from him again. Yeah, and if I remember correctly, he may have just been uh, your assistant. But <laughs> um, uh, question, for, oh. question for Tam on that one. Uh, when you say you had this whirlwind uh, romance last year, was this, was this before or was this after you married our hubby? It was hmm? before... About maybe two weeks before. So yeah, I, was still bit, hot, I was still heartbroken when I met Lester. But I knew, mm -hmm. you know. Was yeah. I mean, I, I don't mean to, to analyze here. That's that's the job of Dr. Meredith. But I, I will say, 
Uh, you know, Tamara, uh, you came on the show, you heard about Claire Australian wedding me, and you immediately decided to do the same thing to me. It was like you heard about intimacy and immediately latched onto it. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay. Do you well, do that a lot? Do you like to copy people, like a little tiny copycat? Well, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I never thought about it. I've just been living my life in its sweet ignorance. And now here I am being picked apart. Uh, I thought I knew myself, but I don't think I do. Claire, let me um, ask you something. Yeah, yeah, far away. What people do you imitate? Pe imitate, mate? No, people imitate me. I mean, okay. look, flattery is the the highest form of a compliment, right? Flattery is uh, the highest oh, wait, form of compliment, yeah. right? Wait, flattery is, yes. Flatter yeah, wait, that's the right way around. My love language so, is right. also flattery. <laughs> and they have a praise flattery. kink. <laughs> so. Oh, you do. I don't like to disclose it. I felt it was, you know, it, it well, makes it's sense. you know, it's it's very honorable of you to disclose that with us. And it made so total like sense you. because we started praising you and you lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> For the sake of the session, I think it's very helpful. So, mm -hmm. basically, all right, getting down to business. Tamara copied copied my wedding plan. That's fine. Well, that's kind of why we're here. So, not a hundred percent fine. But I'm very flattered that you copied my wedding plan to marry Lester. Not so happy about who you chose to apply it to, but I'm trying to stay calm, trying to discuss this like adults. Uh, so, no, I don't copy anyone. They copy me is is the situation here, a doctor. Well, I was I was going to hope you were going to say, you know, Kim Kardashian or something. Then I would say, well, we only copy people we admire. And then I had a whole speech planned, but I guess we'll skip. Can we hear that? Anyway? Well, yeah. And Kim Kardashian, obviously. <laughs> right. You and, you know, who she copies. So it's, you know, it's, it's really it's like a, a circle of life. <laughs> <laughs> right. But then we were going to go all the way through that. And then you were going to realize that that means that you really look up to and love somebody and that there's a level of intimacy there that you hadn't realized. But, you know, it's, it's fine. It's fine. You can just say you don't copy anyone. Are you trying to say I mean, that I'm in denial? No, not at all. I do, I do you know, Claire, I know, you know, knowing you as long as I have, it does seem you dress... Uh, exactly like your brother, Sean, and uh, and I've noticed that some of your mannerisms and even like the beer you like is is the same thing he likes. I I, I don't mean to say that you are necessarily copying your older brother, but it does seem like a lot of things about you and about him. He's a botanist who works exclusively with that kind of plant that the name of which I forgot. It's a, it's a <coughs> well, I need money plant. Yeah, that this thing well actually this this is actually something that we've uh genetically modified when the pandemic hit uh because of the lack of toilet paper on supermarket shelves because everybody was going crazy so this yeah. isn't this is a new plant as well didn't copy uh just created an entirely new plant uh to replace toilet paper and a renewable source of toilet paper that is also eco-friendly Sounds mm -hmm. like she's wiping a bum with her plant. Now, yeah, this sure may does. be a cultural exactly. competency question, okay? So I, I apologize mm -hmm. if this sounds ignorant or judgmental. But I thought that down there, you guys, um, that you use bidets and not paper. You use paper or? I'm not offended. That's okay. okay. I'm open-minded. Uh, yeah, so the coastal people, we, we don't use bidets, but there's a thing called an ocean. Um, you know, I think you've got some on your borders, uh, and we use the waves, so it's similar to a bidet, um, oh. but it just uses the natural force of the ocean. Uh, but then, obviously, you're still a little bit damp on the lower region. Uh, that's when the plant comes in handy, or for those, um, you know, harder to wash away. Yeah, <laughs> I tried to install a bidet already. in the bunker, and immediately Claire was like, "Go take." Just go jump in the ocean. Just go jump yeah. in the ocean. And I was like, I'm afraid of the salt. I'm afraid of the sharks. But she's go, go, go. And honestly, that was a way that I, I busted out of my shell a little bit. So thank you for that. I uh, want I pleasure, baby. Jalapeno, jalapeno plant. My little, my little jalapeno. You're so cute. 
I'm the yeah. one who likes jalapenos. Also, you can't even say it right. Uh, it starts with a J. Well, I went to school. Claire, Claire did I know you, you made know he was not allowed to correct you, but but that's a that's a that's a soft J there. That's a that's a Spanish language style J. All right, I'll pronounce it correctly. Jalapenos. That's way better. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying real hard, guys. Right. And this is, you know, an exchange of cultures. That's something I think we have to keep in mind, right? You know, because we we have different languages, different customs, right? All coming in into this one space that we share Amen. together. Yeah. I'm sorry. What? Amen, sister. I'm agree. I agree. Oh. I agree. See, that's yep. the language thing. <laughs> So, yeah. Are you all religious or is that just a saying that you use? Oh, I go to church, but only for fun. Oh. Yeah, you called it the big God experiment when you went last week. Oh, yeah, that was just an experiment. I really just go for fun. They have snacks and friends there and other people are going, so I go. And if I remember correctly, you started charging phones there while you were there. The people were saying they were trying to pay attention. You said, let me borrow your phone. And you, and you oh, took yeah. it downstairs. You charged it. I mean, you don't need your phone while you're in church. I'm happy to charge, especially now that I have all my four-foot-tall kiosks for my nonprofit. Um, I have two questions on that, going to church. Uh, one, do you put money in the bowl when they mm -hmm. hand it around? Mm -hmm. Two, you do you, you probably do need your phone because don't you do you put it on your Instagram stories? <laughs> oh, well, I guess I no, I don't put church on my Instagram stories. Are other people doing that? I don't know. To be honest, I haven't stepped inside a church in about seventeen years, so I was hoping that you'd tell me. You you watching each other's Instagram stories? Maybe. Can I, can I give you a tip, Claire? This is just between us, okay? Guys, stop this. If you watch someone's story and then you block them uh, until the story is over, until that 24 hours, and then you unblock them, then they will not see that you saw the story. That is good. Wow. I didn't know this. This is some very good inside information. Excuse me, Uno Memento. Well, you can see who sees your stories. <laughs> well, you yes. can, unless they do that. <laughs> yeah. I you, also you found a website watching. one time that you can anonymously look at stories. Yes. You can also create a Fensta. Yeah. Will you please send me that website? I'll try to find it. It's probably in my cookies somewhere. I love cookies. <laughs> me too. <laughs> That's that's the third thing we've got in common. We're good. Oh, hey, good. we're winning therapy. Good work, Absolutely. lady. I, look, you get a, you get a gold star now, Lester. Are you feeling left out at all? Do you think that there's a part of these women competing for your attention that you like, or are you are you tolerating this well? I mean, I came into here thinking that I really, ultimately, what I really wanted was for them to get along, so that I wouldn't have to deal with them being at each other's throats. But then now I'm thinking to myself, like. If they like each other so much, then there might be times when I I am alone again, and I don't want that. So, uh, you know, like, what if they go to like a store together or something, and I'm at home? Uh -huh. What? I like how you do? said when I'm alone again. Huh? What is that? What it? You said when I'm then I'm alone again, right? That's oh, a little she got you. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, after. After the divorce, uh, I spent almost a year alone in a bunker, just watching my son on the on the on the on the baby monitor, and you know, talking to people once a week, and possibly only existing during the hour that I talk to people. But the idea that I only existed then is a sure sign, I guess. Now that I'm thinking about it out loud, that I don't really think of myself as anything individual. I just think of myself as a person in relation to other people. Lester, if I'm being honest. Yeah. I think the person, I think it's before the divorce and I think it's before that marriage. I think there's what? a little boy, you know, a lonely little boy. And 
you can talk right to him now. What would you want to tell that little boy? To my lonely little boy, so? My lonely little boy? To my lonely yeah. little boy, last year? I would say, just because your mommy and daddy only call each other baby and they never talk to you, doesn't mean they don't love you in their own way. And Even when you were a baby. Yeah. Huh? Even when you were a baby. Yeah. Even when I was a baby, they wouldn't talk to me. They would just talk to each other. They'd say, baby, are you dealing with the, the thing over there? I remember this distinctly. I was laying in my crib, looking out through the branches. And that's what I call the crib bars, branches. Uh, uh, I was looking out through the branches and I was and I saw my daddy turn to my mommy and say, honey, are you looking after the thing or can I or, or do I have to stay home? And and she said, uh, uh, baby, I, I got it. I'll deal with it. Uh, and, and I assume they meant me, but they also could have meant their uh, 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 burgeoning um, football manufacturing business, but I think they probably meant me. Now, do you think that they were trying to avoid gendering you until you were more aware of your identity, or do you think that they uh, didn't want to interact with you as a human? I, I mean, they called me the thing, not like them or they. So I, I want to give them credit and say that they were just trying to see if maybe I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, didn't like the penis I got, you know? But like, it turns out, I don't think so. I think what was going on was they didn't treat me like a, a real human being because I, I think, I, okay, because I think, okay, I think what they thought of me as, as was, uh, a little, a little baby who could turn around, a little thing that could, that could make their, their football business big because they made me be the logo. They put my head on the footballs and then they sold the footballs as, the, as the baby balls. They, they sold their company was called Baby Balls and they sold them and my face was on there. And I gotta say, I think they only had me as a marketing device. I don't think my parents ever wanted a child. Now I, Tamara, Claire. Do you think you could take a moment and tell Lester that he is not a font? Lester. I'm pulling on Jalepinar. You, Lester, are not a marketing device to me. I don't even have anything to market except for my nonprofit, which I had before I met you. You are a very smart kind man what she said well said lady and just to back her up you are also not a marketing tool to me and you are definitely not just my husband to get a green card i loved you so much before that from mm. when we first ever met and you supported me in my leaf development sustainability mm -hmm. ass wiping business. And also back when you were doing the Outback tours and you brought that dead snake on the show. I did. I did. I killed a COVID for you. I did that for you, Lester. Thank you. Thank and, you. and just for the record, are, are you happy with the penis that you got? I mean, hey, it gets the job done, right, ladies? <laughs> uh I'm pretty happy with the penis you got. Okay. Hello. Okay. Now we're back in business. I'm feeling good. Yeah. Let's talk more about my penis. All right. Okay. Look, if there were some um, adjustments to make, uh -oh. um, I just look to put open some suggestions on the table. Okay. You know, in Austin Powers, he has a device. Um, what do you guys remember the device? Austin Powers is his device. Oh, the. Uh, no, you got to define that. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Well, it's a, um, oh, the Swedish made penis enlargement pump. Yeah. I mean, look, I think if we could find one of those on Amazon or eBay or such sites, maybe wish.com as advertised on Instagram. Um, look, I wouldn't be opposed, uh, to trying, trying it out. Yeah, just throw, you know, just just a suggestion. Just uh, just thought I'd just put it out there. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Did you all know 
that you can charge a phone with a penis pump. Double the use? <laughs> what? No. What do you mean? You pump up the phone Trust battery? Trust me. Give me a penis pump, maybe from eBay, an iPhone, any kind, and I will charge it. So, I mean, Tamara, that's that's amazing. Baby, That that is amazing. And, and Jalapeno Plant, I'm a little disappointed to hear that you are trying to... <laughs> I'm a little. I'm a little bit upset that you're trying to get me to get a a a, a bigger tool here because I, I. I mean, I feel like okay. Listen, I don't want to get too it, much into intimate details of how he's doing our our sex lives, but I feel like you know making you like having you finish more than once a night is pretty good. You know, I'm doing pretty what? good. Mate, mate, whoa, whoa, whoa! That's great. It's just great. I just um, just if there were anything i just thought i'd just throw it out you know what all right all right scrap that i don't want to make you feel bad it is it's great great girth great length um all of the all of the well, bits when you the start the sentence what i don't want to make you feel bad it. and I'm then so you sorry. say those things it makes me feel like they're lies sorry dr dr meredith what'd you say no i'm i'm an mft i'm not a doctor um i hate to um jump in here but as a woman you know um there's a difference between coming and really feeling bottomed out you know and it sounds like claire is looking for that sort of deep um penetration that she really wants to feel like her cervix is is being smothered covered um like your waffle house hash browns thank you <laughs> took the words right out of my mouth thank you um i've got an alternative suggestion um okay. Tam, if you happen to be on the Google right now, you could just maybe you just look this up uh, as I'm just spit, brain spitting. All right, instead of instead of the uh, Austin Powers device, uh, yeah. we could just go an, an additional penis device. Perhaps we could uh, maybe we could model Lester pe Lester's current penis. Uh, we'll make a, a mold, and uh, then we can maybe have that recreated. Uh, then we can have uh, double the penis um, at the at the same oh. time. See, I'm, I'm trying really hard. I'm trying to be inclusive. I want all of us to be involved at the same time. I love I, that. Um, yeah. Well, listen, that is very kind. have a piece of you, Lester. Yeah, I mean, I've uh, something that I've never thought about prior to this very moment is that uh, the idea of having somebody want a mold of your penis to be involved in their sex play is, like, the biggest compliment you could give. So mm -hmm. I'm... Hmm. <laughs> so I'm I, I'm thrilled by that offer, and I think uh, absolutely I would make that for you. We could even we could even say like, hey, do this, but like make it. We can measure the length in between. We can measure your cervical length. Is that the term? I don't know, but we can measure that and be like, hey, we want it like this, but like that big. And then you have exactly what you need. I'll still have me, and uh, you know, and then Tamara, whatever you want, you we can do that too. Listen, what I want, this is a, that was a very good idea, Claire. I'll give it to you. But, I, you know, mutual masturbation is more my thing. We don't, Lester's penis doesn't usually enter me. Therefore, I don't have any preference. That's, That's true. right. Uh, now, are we fisting or just rubbing, Tamara? Fisting or rubbing, you say? Mm hmm. That was the question, yo. Um, well, you know, it, it's more humping. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, which I guess is rubbing. Masturbation play is we both Dry hump the same pillow. Yes. Yes. Okay. Not at the same time, though. He will hump the pillow, and then I will hump it after. That's right. Wow. That's very nice. Well, okay. So, I mean, back on the the uh, the mold of Lester's penis. You, oh yes, you let's get back to that. More penis stuff. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, a mutual masturbation, but with with the mold of the penis, uh, you could be doing that to yourself with Lester's penis. So essentially, you're still mutually masturbating, but you also have Lester's penis. It's it's like it's like everything. You just get uh, you, you're ticking off everything on the list at this mm -hmm. at the same time. And doesn't mean that you don't get to hump the pillow post Lester humping the pillow. Mm. I like that. I, I I'll try I'll try anything once. Good on it. She's a, she's a good sport. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll 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 sign up for one of these moldings as soon as possible. 
Right. I'm so pleased with how open you have all been to each other's suggestions. Um, there is one thing that I want to talk about. And so that's power dynamics in a relationship. And so typically in a relationship between two people, and so we have three two people relationships here, right? Is that how math? Mm -hmm. Yes. And so yeah. there is a pursuer and a withdrawer. Interesting. What do you think you are in each of these pairings? So let's talk Claire and Lester. Who is the pursuer and who is the withdrawer? Uh, well, uh, Lester generally has to be the one to withdraw uh, yeah. because he's the one with the penis. So it needs oh, to be with out of the vagina to prevent pregnancy. Uh, mm -hmm. So I would say that Lester is the withdrawer in our dynamic. Yeah, in, in that sense, and also in the sense that Claire came on my show and made me marry her. Uh, Claire is for sure the pursuer. I, I'm yeah. pretty proactive. I'm gonna yeah. give it to myself. I'm good. I'm proactive. And does that it gets it gets uh, it gets tiring though sometimes, right? To feel like, well, I have to chase after you and go on your show and attack you and hump you and do all these things and. What if I yeah. stop? Would you still be there? What? Oh, whoa. Oh, my Shit. God. Tamara, you you there? is it the same? I would say yes. I mean, I came onto his show and That's I true. asked him to marry me. So I guess mm -hmm. I'm the pursuer. Mm -hmm. And I believe I maybe I've been a bit withdrawn with Claire. Mm. So maybe that's the problem, Claire. Maybe we're both withdrawn together. Maybe. Maybe it's because you're both exhausted from pursuing Lester, right? And carrying the emotional weight of that relationship and chasing him around emotionally, right? You don't have anything Lester. left though. Yeah. I will I will tip my Fanta to that. Cheers, Tim. To pursuing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I don't have that's anything in my glass. Empty glass. That's typical of a withdrawer. Is it? Oh no. Oh no. Just I mean, drink. I'm thinking back, and the only thing I ever really pursued was Popeyes Louisiana <laughs> Kitchen spicy chicken strips, the recipe and all the necessary ingredients. And mm -hmm. you know, and I think that that's because ultimately I think more about the future than I do about the present. You know, I'm thinking about. How are we gonna have a future that represents Louisiana accurately if we don't have the recipe to Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen chicken strips? You know, and and so you know, I spend so much time pursuing that dream that we bring Louisiana into the future via the recipe and all the necessary increase of Popeye's. Chicken I feel like the chicken strips are always more pursuing... important than me. No, Claire, that, <laughs> that is true. Don't feel that way though. It just is true. <laughs> Don't tell her not to feel how she feels. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> Why do you like me? Never, you like ever do that again. I'm oh, sorry, boy, Dr. Mary. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, you know who I'm really sorry to? Claire. I'm sorry, Claire. I, I I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to care about anything more than the future of Louisiana post apocalypse. I don't know how. I, that's what broke up my first marriage, and I don't want it to be the thing that makes this difficult. But it seems oh like it God. might be. Don't I no. don't I taste better than chicken? You must. Please don't make me answer that. No, no, I taste better than chicken. I mean, that. you can put your seasoning on me, and it's fine if you think that that tastes better with some chicken strips, Popeyes, Kentucky Fried, Louisiana no, seasoning. No, this is Louisiana, oh. baby. Can oh no, Kentucky I'm sorry. I mean, jalapeno plant. Oh. I'll season that. I'll season that ass any day. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Now Lester and Lester, I do want to something out. You said that you were pursuing the future of Louisiana, but Louisiana is there right now. Um, you have now gone to Australia and you live underground. And so are you not withdrawing from Louisiana? No. Because yeah. the idea of Louisiana. No, I thought Louisiana 
I made a bunker for Louisiana to be brought into the future, okay? And I have somebody babysitting it and making sure, I don't remember their name right now, but there is somebody whose job it is to, they were on the show a while back. They, their job is to, 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 to watch the bunker and make sure that the fully functioning Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen the Spicy Chicken Strips restaurant down there stays functioning. And, you know, I, I've, oh. I've invested all I can in that, but I had to get away because the bunker was in, my ex wife, uh, my ex wife's backyard, and I, I had to get away. Uh, and Claire, Claire came in and, and swept me off my feet and said, "Come to Australia with me." And I, I did, because, you know, it's it's one of those whirlwind romances that makes you reconsider all your life priorities. But then once you get past that whirlwind beginning, you're like, "No, I was right about my priorities, but this is great too." You know? Right. Look, it's but not a question job to give advice. I'm just making an observation that if you really love Louisiana, you would be in the bayou wrestling a crocodile. And instead, he left his bunker with a teenage hippie who's just throwing parties there. That's right. I'm so glad Tamara knows the show so well. Uh, I, 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 you might be right. You might be right. Maybe I withdrew from my, my pursuit of the future too. I, it's you know when you find out that your son's not going to grow up the way you want him to, it changes things. It makes things harder and. The idea that the idea that I'm not going to be able to to live in a bunker with my boy, my little baby boy, Bubba Gump Shrimp Junior. I mean, it changed my thought process a lot. I'll be honest. Because you Bubba don't Gump want him to be I mean. that lonely little baby boy that you were. That thing in the corner, right, Lester? Oh my god! Oh my god, Doctor Meredith, you're so right. I'm an MFT. I have a suggestion. This might be crazy and you might all hate me after I say this. Okay. But if you were in a relationship with Claire so that you didn't have to live in Louisiana and I'm in the relationship with you as an experiment, what if we all weren't married and just were friends instead? Wow. What? Yes. But could we just still stay married on paper uh, purely for bureaucratic reasons? What now, are we still happen? making the penis molds or no, you want to dissolve all of it? I'm sorry. I don't want to dissolve Lester's actual penis, but the mold, yeah, we could do that. What? So now wait. So because I opened up about my truth uh, uh, with with my my son, and, and because I I I'm, I'm missing out on uh, uh, on pursuing the future of Louisiana right now just by being near you, you're suggesting we should get another divorce. Uh, uh, I mean, I guess we wouldn't be getting another divorce. I would be, but I, I, it sounds I like they want to stay want married on paper, but she just wants to go somewhere where she can really get dick down and bottomed out. Well, you can still do that dickin if you like, Lester. That like doesn't, the dickin doesn't have to end. I but, would like uh, to thank you. Okay, well, Lester, I didn't mean to have you feel abandoned. I did, wasn't suggesting we're not in each other's lives anymore. I'll still pump pillows with you any day. It's just okay. I thought maybe the problem is we are trying to possess each other. You know what I mean? And it's causing all these arguments and fights. And really, we just did this for fun anyhow. And, and if we say we're married and then we're married, if we say we're not, are we not? Claire, I'll let you answer that. Won't that ruin your experiment? I'm concerned. Actually, now you're getting me fired up. I'm concerned about science here. I mm. think we need to stay married for the sake of science because if we if we pull out now, uh, no pun intended, um, but okay. if we pull out now for the sake of us and our feelings and blah, 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 blah. You know, is then we is science a pet bird better. or what is science? Science, like... The, the experiment, the marriage oh. experiment. So we're fucking science, fucking each other. I think we're better off to stay fucking each other for a bit longer, just to, for the sake of humanity and science, really. Well, I do like an experiment. I mean, maybe the experiment is having a successful thruple. Maybe the experiment is what Meredith is trying to teach us. Exactly. So, Doctor, oh this God. is on you now. 
We need you. You got to make this work, doctor. That's why we hired a doctor. Well, I'm I'm not a doctor. I'm an MFT, but uh, yeah. sometimes the answer is that it can't work, and we're just here to accept whatever the truth already is. Have you heard of the Four Horsemen? No. Of the apocalypse, of course. <laughs> no, it's actually not. It's it's of uh, of relationships, and so. Uh, there was this uh, these pair, this couple. They were couples counselors, and they watched um, all these videos of couples and um, whether they would work out or not in therapy, and to see which therapeutic uh, stuff would work. And they found that there was four things that, if they exist, um, it's very unlikely for um, the relationship to work out. Oh God! Oh, what are the four things? Um. Well, the first one is contempt. Do we want to talk about contempt for a little bit? No. no we'll come no. back. We'll circle back. Okay, we can circle back to that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, one is um, criticism. Oh no, let's come back to that too. I don't want to. I don't want to no, start. We'll, we'll circle back. Um, yeah. Defensive defensiveness. Uh, Definitely doesn't no, happen. No, what no. Talking about. We don't do that. We'd never be defense. Next. Okay. And then uh, the last one is stonewalling. Oh, I love it. Let's just not even do this. Let's just not even do this. I don't oh, like this anymore. Stoned. <laughs> you know, getting stones legal in California. I like this one. That's great. The whole wall of stone is every, every second corner in California. Get me back there. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What? Are so we using humor again to deflect intimacy, Claire? What? I didn't deflect anything. What? Why do you always say that I deflect shit? This is bullshit. Next. Okay. What's the next one? So that yeah, I don't think we, we are, well, let me just explain. Like none of us is horses, so I don't think the four horsemen thing applies to us. Nah, not, not us. Us. Yeah. We choose D, not applicable. Yeah. I, I think that's the fourth system. option. The fifth option, D, not applicable. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I can send oh, Tamar, you a you okay? quiz. Huh? What? What? I said, are you okay? I'm okay. And Meredith, were you asking me a question? Yeah, I just want to. I just want to check in with you. I feel like there's there's a lot of emotion washing over you. I don't know what your love language is, but I, I feel like your needs are not being met right now, and I just want to make sure that you don't get uh, overlooked. I like you. I like Thank this. Oh, uh, you know, my needs really, I'm, I know, I, I think the problem is, doctor, that I'm not feeling anything. Not I don't enough. feel sad anymore. I don't feel happy. I don't feel horny. I don't feel in love. I feel oh, no. supportive. I feel like I'll mm -hmm. be here for less than forever, no matter what our relationship structure is. There's pills for that. So, so that there, there are indeed, um, we would call that dysthymia. So that's sort of a general malaise. Think Eeyore, right? So nothing yeah. good, nothing bad, nothing yeah. means anything, you know? And yeah. and Eeyore is actually very, at very high risk for suicide. He actually shows all of the highest risk uh, behaviors. And so I don't, I don't know. Are you, I just want to check in. Are you, have you thought about killing yourself? Whoa. No, you know, I haven't. Uh, and if I had, I would tell you. Uh, but, okay. but really, the difference between me and Eeyore is Eeyore has no energy. I have all the energy. Oh, okay. I run around charging people, phones, all day. But who's charging you? Ooh, what? good question. What? I, Tim, who's charging you? Where's your energy coming from? Okay, because you know the universe, energy, it's not created, it's not destroyed, it's got to come from somewhere, right? Oh my God, I feel dizzy. Lester, oh. I think she needs a good dick in. That'll charge her back up. But I like mutual masturbation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, oh, but, yeah. But Tamara, I mean, I, I, I want to be there for you, you know, in, 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 in the city. In the same way that you want to be there for me, you know, I want to be there for you, and I, 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 I feel like you know, if you need more energy, then I could like, I could like, I could like mine some coal and burn it, and well, that wouldn't really help you. Um, I could like pump some, you know, that get pumping gas wouldn't help you either. When, um, when Lester's voice gets very high and he talks about destroying the environment, what does that usually mean, girls? 
it means <laughs> he wants love. It means he's got a hard on and he no, doesn't know how to ask somebody to deal with it for that's him. Great. That's, okay, great. that's, you, that's the underlying you. issue. I Where's your you other hand, know. Lest? Where is it? Huh? Show he's us your other up. hand. Who you got under the table there, Lest? Huh? Where is she? Show your face, lady. There's no, there's Get no other woman, okay? I've, uh -huh. I've suggested that many different people could Australian wedding me, and so far it's only been you two. So it's not, it's not that. It's not that, okay? I'm not yeah. tubing on this, uh, on this call here. Mm -hmm. Now I, I can't give my answer. I would, <laughs> but I cannot. It's oh, illegal. I mean, Right. No, no, no. Yeah, no. And we don't even, so far, I don't feel like we've really connected in that way. Well, oh, you, know, you haven't thought that. She likes I mean, I've praise, been thinking this whole time, like, are we going to connect in that way? But uh -oh. Well, the therapeutic think... relationship is the most important um, determiner of success. So that's, that's this relationship. Oh. I mean... Are you saying that your relationship with Lester is the most important one? Oh, well, no. only, no. only according to every peer-reviewed study that's been written in the last decade, yes. Uh, oh. All right, well, fuck, we've just got nowhere in this therapy session, have we? I thought we were talking about our relationships with Lester and how important they are. Now fucking come in here and we trump it at the end and Trump's already been voted out, so I don't know what the fuck is happening now. Maybe, Claire, our disdain for the relationship between Lester and Meredith can bring us closer together. I don't know. Sometimes it's not an enemy. Yes. Look, whatever, whatever it takes. Uh, if we need to bring in a fourth, if that's the solution, I'm open to it. If we need to hate the fourth who tried to get in and uh, together and bring out the three of us together, I'm open to that. It, it, the, the one thing I don't want to have to do is move back to Louisiana by myself. Now, now, what about another man with like a huge dripping hog that could really bottom Claire out? Uh, I would, I be, would opposed be opposed to adding another man for Claire. If that's what we uh, need, I vote yes. I'm not one to deny my wives anything. If that's what you need, uh, you Doctor, need. would you have uh, the contact details of uh, one Idris Elba? Um, I'm not a doctor, and I cannot confirm or deny whether he is a client. Did you see that smile? I mean, yes. He's That's a, client. a client. That she has an intense relationship with. And I thing. actually have a. Um, I'm bound uh, by um, by confidentiality, so I cannot tell you. That's a big wink. That's uh, a big wink. My but, but, uh, but you are also bound uh, by uh, doctory uh, shit that you sign when you become the a hippo, doctor. The hippo. To, uh, right. Yeah, that thing. Um, uh, to help your clients. Uh, and I think one thing that would help that potential said client that you have not confirmed nor denied uh, to recover and feel positive about himself would be to uh, provide more people uh, for him to give a good uh, dick and or bottoming out, as you uh, so right. eloquently put it. So right. uh, it would be in your moral code and duty to inform him of said other person. Okay. Uh, well. Um, yeah. if, if you're willing to sign a release of information, if I knew that person, I could ask them also to sign a release of information. Wait um, on. Oh, okay. So actually, I just sent it. I just sent it to you as DocuSign, so you can just cool. PDF. <laughs> we're yeah. almost we're almost to the end of the session. Um, so I guess our path forward, Doc, is the three of us are going to stay married. But we're gonna try to get Idris Elba in on it too. Yeah, yeah we're gonna have him married to us. Hell yeah! I'd watch okay. him hump a pillow any day. I've, I, I've never. You know seen, what? It, look, I don't, I don't know him, but I've never seen Idris make a situation worse. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Also, you know what, uh, Tam? I would even be open to letting uh, you watch Idris and I um, do our thing. Do the pillow humping to each other yeah as long as lester's okay with all of this i'm down hey. he'll be doing the humping from the other end right 
Yeah, no, I'm 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 in on this. I think I think this is a great idea. I think the one thing that our relationship has lacked is another person. And whoever that might be, let's find out, you know, let's find out how that goes. So if Idris Elba is out there watching this show, uh, I mean, watching this therapy session and wants to uh, uh, write to us, get on the show uh, or anybody out there who's watching this and wants to be Idris Elba for a day, uh, let us know. And, and we and come in Australian wedding me get in on this. Yeah, tag, share, sign. What else do you do? Post, mm -hmm. share, subscribe to Idris. Yeah, well, now, um, it, just since we are uh, uh, talking as if there might be people watching this this therapy session, um, uh, Claire, is there anything out there that you might want people to check out on the internet or any uh, anybody who you particularly think they might enjoy? Ah, well, actually, funny, funny, funny you should bring that up. There is, there's somebody out there pretending to be me. They've stolen all of my photos. They post them on Instagram and Facebook. And the handle, I mean, they're kind of doing me a favor because I don't want to have to do it. So good for them. But that's the, that's the handle. At, oh, at Ella, Ella underscore Francis. Francis. I'm sorry. I thought she you is. weren't going to say it, so I said it. You go, you go, you go. No, you get, no, thanks, man. Uh, yeah, don't know who the fuck she is, but she keeps posting my shit, so go and follow her. Uh, yeah. Peace out, motherfuckers! Okay. And then, uh, Tamara, you know, same question. Is there anybody out there who you think people should check out on the internet for some reason or any, like, podcasts you like? Oh, yeah, I found a new podcast. It's not, I'm not really the right demographic for it, but it's called The Stoner Chicks Podcast. It's a podcast of lady comedians who smoke a lot of weed. And, oh, and that's my niece. At K-E-T-E-E-L, Kayla Teal, your niece. Yeah, that's my niece. <laughs> Great. And then, uh, uh, Dr. Meredith, I mean, same question to you. Anything out there that you think folks should check out? Um. Yeah, I really love um, TikTok. I was following an account, Sweet Orange Jasmine. They were very fun. And um, I also just want to recommend uh, doing breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, like a circle. Okay. So it's, you're going to sniff the rose, blow out the birthday candle. Okay. And we're going to, wow. we're going to do that. Um, so that's what I'd like to recommend the most. And did I spell that TikTok handle right real quick? Do you see that? No, but I, I think I see it in the other place where things can be read. In the okay. chat, sweet orange jasmine. I'm going to find you and follow sweet you. Orange from jasmine. There it is. Uh, I just oh, misheard. I just misheard. Okay, well, that's great. Um, I will say... Uh, 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 you know, uh, my publicist is very good. If you're looking to listen to this therapy show, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying, but my publicist is at Ezra Party on Instagram, at Ezra Potter on Twitter. I am at Listen Pips on all the things. This has been an excellent therapy session. Uh, Dr. Oh. Meredith, thank you so much for therapizing. M my, my beautiful wives, Jalapeno plant Claire Thrills and baby Tamara, thank you so much for being here. If for some reason you were watching and commenting a lot, like I don't know, maybe you are Wiz World Live, Jenny Fresh, welcome Jenny Fresh, uh, Paul Aredia, uh, AC Improv, Brother Wags, any of you folks, I want to say thank you to you and thank you to the Pack Theater. And now's the time where you should stick around and watch this channel where this therapy is being shown because there's also going to be another show right after called uh, Please Talk to Me with Ali Ramirez, which you should watch. Um, but now's the time where the show just kind of ends. Here we go. Where that ends. was the show. Now we did it. You know how to survive an apocalypse. So now we're going to talk about saying thank you to you. Thank you for watching the show. And thank you to these guests for doing the thing for you tonight or today. And also thank you to the Pack Theater for hosting. Now it's time to say get out there, survive, and make humanity proud. You can find the show at Lester Pips on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can also find all the video archives on EzraParter.com slash Lester Pips. So please like and subscribe and all those things.